Hello everyone, this is Grace here. Today we're going to do a very short flow, okay, uh, focusing on detox, right? So first of all, stay in mountain pose, Tadasana. We warm up first. Keep your legs parallel to one another. Knit your rib cage in, belly in, chest open. Bring your arms up, push your pelvis forward. Open up your chest towards the ceiling. And slowly come back. Lean with your chest, one dive down into standing pose. And breathe in, have your chest up, keep your back back. As you breathe, self control. Bend both knees, stretch your right leg as far back as you can. Now keep your heel off the mat. Keep your core engaged, head in line with your spine. Bring your left leg back, come back to plank, stay in plank first. Drop both knees down on the mat, wrap your tricep and keep your tumble up, lower your chest and chin down on the mat. Glide yourself forward to baby cobra, lift your chest away from the mat, elbows tuck. Chin down, tuck your feet, push yourself back to plank, down the facing dog. Sitting down with dog, take a boat in. Bring your right leg up, hip square towards the mat. Step through with your right foot. Left foot forward. Breathe in, head and chest up, back flat. As you breathe out, forward. Bend the knees, come into Uttasana, chair pose. And come all the way up. Bring your hands down, arms down by the side, the other side. Arms up, come into back bend. And slowly come back. Swan dive down to standing forward. Breathe in, head and chest up, back flat, as you breathe out forward. Now bend both knees, stretch your left leg back. Right leg back, come back to plank, stay in plank. Drop both knees down on the mat, come to S down. Glide forward to baby cobra, neck lock, shoulders down. Chin down, tuck your feet, push yourself back to plank, downward facing plank. Sitting down with dog, one more breath. Bring your left leg up, hip square, knees into your chest, shoulders above your wrist. Land your left foot softly. Right foot forward. Now breathe in, head and chest up, back flat. As you breathe, down forward. Bend both knees, come into Utkatasana, chair pose. And come all the way up. Bring your hands down, arms down by your side. Bring your arms up, push your pelvis forward. Open up your chest towards the ceiling. Keep your head in line with your spine. Stay here for one more breath. And slowly come back. Lean over your chest, one dive down to standing pose. Breathe in, head and chest up, back back. As you breathe out forward. Now bend both knees, stretch your right leg back. Left leg back. Come back to your downward facing dog. Ground the heels. Stretch your carbs. One more breath here. Now slow. Relax your toes down. Step your feet one inch further apart from one another. Breathe in. As you breathe up, take your left hand to your right ankle. Look at the ceiling from underneath your right armpit. If you can't find your ankle, find your knee, find your carbs, anything you can grab. Come into nice. Spinal twist. One more breath. Slow. Left hand down. Breathe in. As you breathe up, the other side. Hold it here for a moment. Keep breathing. One more breath. Slow. Right hand down. Tiptoe both feet. Bring your knees down on the mat. Come on the child pose for a moment. Rest your torso onto your thigh. Lower your head down. One more breath here. Now slowly engage your core. Pull yourself all the way up. Now you're sitting in child pose. A hero pose, sir. Now I'm going to make a fist with both hands. Thumbs in, fingers in. Bring your fist to your belly button, to your belly, below the belly button. Breathe in, lengthen first. As you breathe out, pull forward. Lower your torso down, relax your elbows down towards the mat. Hold it here for a moment. Feel the compression in your abdominal area. Keep breathing here. 
One more breath. Slowly engage your core, lift your head, pull yourself all the way up. Second time around, take your hands behind your back, squeezing between your shoulder blades. Now breathe in, lengthen, spine long. As you breathe out, fall forward, rest your torso on your thigh, lower your forehead down. Stretch your arms up towards the ceiling. Hold it here for a moment. Feel the compression in your abdominal area. Once you release the pose, it helps you with blood circulation and also helps you to remove toxins more efficiently from your body. One more breath. Gently engage your core, lift your head, pull yourself all the way up. Release your hands down, cross at your ankle, stretch on it forward, sit on down. Now sit up nice and tall, stay in Dandasana. Kneecap and toes point towards the ceiling. Back neutral. One more breath. Slowly bend your right knee. Now keep your foot one palm width away from your left thigh, sitting up nice and tall. Tuck your thigh in using your inner thighs to hug it in so you don't need your arms to hold to your legs. Give it a try. Keep your left foot flat, toe. Toes and kneecaps point towards the ceiling. So at the same time, you're engaging your inner thighs. So then you're nice and tall, back neutral, shoulders down. One more breath. Slowly drop your right knee out to the side. Now press your foot against your opposite leg. Breathe in, lengthen first. Arms up, shoulders down. As you breathe out, fall forward. Find your foot or your ankle. Keep your spine long. Breathe in, lengthen. As you breathe out, lower your torso down. Now stay here for a little while. Use your breath if you need to. Breathe in, lengthen. As you breathe out, come down a bit more. Keep your back flat. It doesn't matter how far you can go. The, the goal is not about bringing your head down, but keeping your back neutral and long. While you stay in your final pose, feel the stretch happening in your right buttocks and the back of your left butt. Stretching your hamstring. One more breath. Slowly lift your head, point your arms in front. Pull yourself all the way up. Lower both hands down. Bring your right leg up. Now step your right foot outside your left knee. Drop your left foot out to the side, then bend your knee in. Keep your right foot flat down on the mat. That helps you to bring your knee closer towards your chest. Take your right hand outside your right thigh, left arm up. Now breathe in, lengthen first. As you breathe out, press your right knee into your torso, left elbow, outside your right knee. Take your right hand behind your back, breathe in, lengthen. As you breathe out, turn towards the back of the room, look over your right shoulder. Stay in Atama Sindrasana. Nice way to help you to go into spinal twist, at the same time, creating compression. Keep breathing here. Work with your breath. Breathe in like that. As you breathe out, turn a little bit more as you breathe out. One more breath. And slowly lock your front. Unwind your torso. Now uncross the legs, give them a shake. Get ready for the other side. Bend your left knee. Keep your foot one palm width away from your right thigh, sit up top, hug your knee in, activate your adductor groups. One more breath here. Slowly drop your leg out to the side, press your foot against your opposite leg. Now breathe in, arms up, keep your shoulder blades down. As you breathe out, fall forward, find your foot or your ankle. Now breathe in, lengthen first. As you breathe out, Lower yourself down. Stay in your final pose, wherever it is. Hold it here for a moment. Just observe how your body responds to the pose. One more breath. Slowly lift your head, point your arms in front. Pull yourself all the way up. Lower both hands down. Bring your left leg up. Step your left foot outside your right thigh. Drop your right foot out to the side. Bend your knee in. 
Now sit up nice and tall. Keep your left foot flat down on the mat. Left hand outside your left thigh. Right arm up. Breathe in, lengthen. As you breathe out, twist to your left. Take your right elbow outside your left knee. Keep your shoulders down. Left hand behind. Now breathe in, lengthen first. As you breathe out, twist a little bit more. Look over your left shoulder. Keep breathing here. Keep your spine long. One more breath. Slowly lock your front. And one your torso. Now and cross your legs. Stretch your whole legs. Give them a stretch. Now from here, we're going to go into posture mode. And now so now bring both arms up. Breathe in. Keep your back flat. As you breathe out, fold forward. So focus on tilting your pelvis forward to keep your spine long. Bring your hands down. Now, if your hamstring is super tight, you may find it hard to come down and your back may be very rounded. So what you can do is glue, bend your knees first, glue your torso onto the thigh, wrap up your ankle or your heels, whatever you can find. Once you're there, slowly walk your feet out. Now make sure you keep your torso onto your thigh. Stop at the point when you feel that your torso is leaving your thighs. Hold it here for a little while. Keep breathing. One more breath. Slowly lift your head, point your arms in front, use your core strength, pull yourself all the way up. As a counter pose, Pubotanasana. Bring your hands behind your buttocks, fingers pointing towards the feet. Roll your shoulders back, elbows pointing towards the back of the room. Point your toes, stretch your legs. Breathe in. As you breathe out, push yourself up, press down with your feet to lift your chest up towards the ceiling. Do your best. Keep your chest and your buttocks as high up as you can. One more breath. And slowly. Release, come back down. Bend both knees, move yourself towards the front of the mat. Now we're going to go into Navasana. Sitting up nice and tall, chest open, knees together. Once again, activating your inner thighs. Hinge back, go as far back as you can. Tip your arms out to the side. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Hands are back on your knees, pull yourself all the way up. Now, we are coming down. Keep your core engaged. Take your arms up to the side. Round your butt nice and slow. 10, 9, 8. Activate in the thighs. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Once you lie down on the mat, stretch your arms, stretch your legs. Give yourself a nice stretch first. Then gently bend both knees. Now we're going to go into happy baby pose. Bring your knees into your chest. Grab your hands around your knees, lift your head and shoulders off the mat. Rock yourself left and right first, making yourself a little ball. Then lower your head and shoulders down. Bring your knees out wide, so of the feet towards the ceiling. Grab your respective heels. Use your hands and your tricep to press down on your thigh to bring your knees and your thighs closer towards the mat. This is a nice way to help you to open up your hips, releasing tension in your lower back. And slowly release, bring your knees together. Now, keep your knees bent, feet down on the mat. We're going to go find a stretch, eagle leg stretch. Take your arms up to the side, right thigh on top of your left, double wrap of your ankle. If you find it hard to double wrap, just single wrap is perfectly fine. Now, lift your bums up towards the ceiling, shift it to the right. Put your right thigh on top, shift your bum to the right. Then lengthen as you breathe out. Drop both knees to the left, both shoulders down, turn your face away. Feel the stretch in your QL muscle, your oblique muscles, your glutes, your thighs, and your IT bone. Feel free to close your eyes. Just observe how your body responds to the pose. One more breath. And slowly come back. Unwind your legs, change side, left thigh on top of your right, 
lift your bums up, shift them to the left, drop both knees to the right, both shoulders down, turn your face away. Hold it here for a moment. Keep breathing. Observe what this pose is doing for you. One more breath. And slowly come back and remind your legs. Now stretch your legs out, one leg at a time. Feet met with distance apart. Arms alongside your body, palms facing up. Complete relaxation of the body. Close your eyes. We're going to rest in Savasana for here. Keep your mind steady. Just observe how your body feels. Stay here for as long as you want and enjoy this time you have with yourself. Thanks for sharing your practice with me.